Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. Um, I usually have lately been starting off my vlog like with just captions and stuff and kind of going about my day and stuff, but I really wanted to catch you up <laughs> because I've been absent. I've been, my goal has been to post two videos a week and I didn't get to do that this week because I actually tried to film a video. Um, so on Christmas day, which was my day off, I was trying to film a video and I started to not feel very well. And if you guys saw, I got sick when I was in Dublin. So I got that sickness. I think I got bronchitis and then um, I came back home and I went to the doctor and I took my medicine and I felt a lot better. But then on Christmas day, I started to feel really awful, <laughs> like terrible. And um, I actually, like I said, was trying to film a video and I came back home after I was like trying to vlog and I was like, I do not feel good. So then I laid down and I ended up sleeping like all of Christmas day, which sucks that I kind of like ruined my break like that. Um, and so I was feeling terrible. And then the next day um, I took um, I took a thermometer and I had a really bad fever. Um, and yeah, it was awful. Like, and I was trying so hard to kill my fever. Like, you know, you got to use like fever suppressant, you know, like Tylenol and stuff like that. And then, um, I also was like trying to sleep because that's how I always get rid of my fevers is like getting in a deep sleep and then I sweat it out. Um, but I had some congestion from that too and like kind of a cough and anyways so all to say I got sick for round two and it like really threw me off of everything like I didn't get to go to jujitsu at all this week because I was sick and then like even when I'm I'm feeling better now even when I had thought I recovered like I thought I broke my fever and then the next day I think I broke it again. <laughs> so anyways, every time I had thought I was like recovering from this round two sickness, I just still was feeling awful. But like yesterday and today were more of the days where I didn't feel any fever symptoms and I was feeling a lot better. So now I think I feel like I can vlog um, and I've been, yeah, those are my tissues because I've just been, you know, in my bed. My room was like a mess during this time because I was so sick and tired. Like, I just couldn't. Anyways, it's been kind of a miserable week, to be honest, which sucks because it's part of like my Christmas break and I've been so sick. But honestly, it's okay. It is what it is. Um, we'll just try to make the most of it. And so, anyways, um, I've been trying to get back on my skincare again. You can see I still have some blemishes. I was not keeping up with my skincare when I was sick because I was so tired. But I also think that I need to like invest in some pimple patches or like something else to help with my acne around my chin. It's like my chin and my cheeks that I've always said are affected the most by my acne. Um, but I also bought this pajama set because I don't really have like sets of pajamas. I'm always somebody who just wears a really big t-shirt and like sweats. And it's been nice to have like actually some PJs to wear. Um, but that's kind of what I've been up to is being sick, working, and trying to just like recover and come back to life <laughs> since the holidays. Um, but anyways, it's kind of late in the afternoon. Um, I'm still just like still getting back to normal after I was sick. My dad got sick too. So anyways, what I would really like to do today is I would like to try to go to the gym for the first time. Um, because I, I haven't been keeping up with the gym that much. I've been mostly just like relying on jujitsu, which is great, but also I my ideal is to have like in between gym times. Um, the other thing I want to do today 
is I do want to go to the grocery store. Um, and then I also got a Sephora gift card, but that might be a little too ambitious for today. I might have to save that for tomorrow. And then I have some bookstore stuff that I want to work on. And I want to show you the new stuff that I got from my bookstore that I was wanting to show last time. But all of that necessitates me getting dressed and getting ready. And honestly, I've lately been kind of addicted. <laughs> lately, it's only been like a day. I've been addicted to watching this TLC like teen mom pregnancy show. I don't know why. I accidentally, I used to watch teen mom like when I was in high school um, on MTV like a really long time ago. But um, I now lately have, um, I fell like on a teen mom subreddit from like the TV show and I was reading all that stuff and it just like sucked me back in. And anyways, so that's what I've been that's all my shenanigans that I've been up to. And so now I'm gonna kind of get dressed and do my thing and check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, I'm finally in the car. I got my Stanley. I actually won this in a Christmas party, which is really cool. I like the color of it. I never would have bought a Stanley. I have so many cups. Um, anyways, I'm trying to decide if I want to go to Sephora first before I go to the gym. Part of me is like, get the gym over with, go to the gym. But then the other part of me is like, get a coffee and get more excited to go to the gym and enjoy your coffee while you're going to Sephora and then go to the gym. Um, so we'll see what ends up winning. <laughs> I might just flip a coin. That's what I do when I'm really indecisive is I literally flip a coin because I don't know what to choose. Um, but oh, also my sister got me this really cute necklace that had this adorable charm on it and it's an Aries charm and she got that me for me for Christmas and I, it's a little too chunky for me to wear as a necklace but I was telling her how I've been wanting to get a charm for my bag because I've seen girls with that specific bag on TikTok like wearing charms and stuff and it came off the necklace so easily and I'm like that's so cute and it's like such a unique charm because it comes from a necklace you know so I think I'm gonna flip a coin and see. Part of me is just like, get the gym out of the way, girl, you know? But then we'll see. I'm so indecisive. Okay guys, I went to Sephora. I swear I don't go to Sephora that often. <laughs> it's just been in this vlog again because I got a gift card. Um, but I ended up getting pretty much everything I wanted. I got, um, some sunscreen to try. I've never tried Fenty Skin, but I really need a sunscreen. Um, and I have regular sunscreen, but I wanted to try like a skincare sunscreen. And then I also got an eye serum. Um, and then what was really nice is she said because I bought some Sephora products, because I just got like these little face mask things. Um, she said I could get an eyebrow gel or I think the other thing was like some skincare thing and I was like I really need eyebrow gel <laughs> so please give me the eyebrow gel so that was really nice um 
but I feel like my skin is looking really good and it was so nice because the Dutch Bros girl complimented my skin and I was like thank you I've been working so hard on my skincare <laughs> like no joke and I'll actually take the compliment this time because I'm actually like really working on it so anyways um I think I'm gonna hit the gym now I brought my headphones and I think I'm gonna walk on the treadmill first for a while maybe do some like incline situation um and then i want to just get some like lifting in and i really don't know what kind of workout i want to do i think i just might do full body because i'm so indecisive right now um i am always so scared to hit legs after i haven't been weightlifting for a long time because it makes me so ridiculously sore and I just got over being sick with like body aches so I'm like should I really do that to myself <laughs> but I know that I have to get it over with eventually so I'm just trying to decide that also I sprayed a bunch of sample perfume on me which like I should have been spraying it on the little test papers but I couldn't find them and I was too lazy and I wanted to smell all the good smells so now I smell like four different perfumes which is probably not great um but anyways, yeah, I'm going to hit the gym and then make it, make my way back home. Um, and I think tomorrow I'm going to go to Trader Joe's because I just don't feel like putting myself through the Trader Joe's madness, even though it'll be worse tomorrow probably because it's Sunday, but hopefully not. But probably, because people are going to be getting ready for their New Year's parties and stuff. So, I'm just signing up for the holiday madness right now, honestly. Um, but yeah, I'll see you at the gym. back at home now watching this terrible teen pregnancy <laughs> reality TV show and it's time to make some dinner which I'm really proud of myself I'm gonna make some dinner um I got some protein pasta and I'm gonna use this this sauce from Trader Joe's is really really yummy tomato basil and then I'm gonna fish the broccoli out of this frozen bag and I don't have the best bread <laughs> to be making garlic bread so i'm just going to use these little english muffins from um thomas i don't know why i have to say that anyways <laughs> then i just have all this stuff right here to make the garlic bread um and yeah i'm just gonna cook and enjoy a nice home-cooked meal before tomorrow is new year's eve so i'm happy to be starting off the year with this energy pretty soon cool angle that I really like you get to see a bunch of stuff in my room um so yeah oh my god I'm like having no train of thought right now okay so it's New Year's Eve today so it's the last day of 2023 so I'm excited to make this vlog as like a New Year's kind of vlog thing and um so you saw me this morning I started off my New Year's Day eating a really yummy burger from the heaven, <laughs> so that was delicious. Um, and I got dressed and nice to like put myself together, you know. Um, I don't always do that, by the way. There are days that for sure I'm just 
in my PJs all day or in really relaxing clothes. But I thought for today, because I kind of want to have a little bit of a productive mindset, that I would get dressed. Um, but what I really want to do right now is I do want to make a 2024 vision board. And I've been doing this since 2021. Um, for the new year that I make a vision board and I really believe that it works for example in my 2022 vision board I put that I wanted to visit Seattle for the very first time and in such a crazy coincidence I got invited to a booksellers conference and I didn't even know this but they changed the location of the bookseller conference every year and that year they chose Seattle so I got to go to Seattle which was so fun and then I even put on that vision board that I wanted to go to Ireland I didn't go to Ireland in 2022 but um, I have a favorite Irish language rap band that I got free tickets to go see in Los Angeles. So I always joke around that like Ireland came to me. And then for this year I put stuff about like exploring stuff for my bookstore and a lot of that stuff came true. Um, and also I believe some of it is like fate and the intention that you put out there. And then the other thing I think if you put a goal out there, it's like on your mind. So I think it's really helpful aside from like manifestation stuff. Also sorry if I'm so shiny, I just did my skincare. But anyways, um, I usually make my vision board on an actual physical board, like a poster board. And I cut out a bunch of, um, like magazine stuff and that's because I've done my vision boards with my friends in the past so we do that together but this year I'm spending New Year's um, not by myself with my dad at home and I'm actually really excited about that because I haven't spent New Year's home alone in a couple years and I think it's really cool to just switch it up and like you know try new things and I feel like because I'm gonna be at home I get to have a lot more intention with how I want the new year to go but all to say that because I'm gonna be by myself I actually want to make my vision board on my iPad this is my iPad look at how cute my stickers are by the way a bunch of them are quiet quill books and then like Indian Girls Book Club and she's an Argonaut um, yeah, very cute. So anyways, I want to make my vision board on Procreate on my iPad. Um, I've seen a lot of other people do that on YouTube. And I feel like it's so much more, <laughs> so much more aesthetic than putting it, you know, on a physical board because you're just, like a lot more limited. So I want to do that right now because I have a lot of stuff in my noggin about what I want to bring into 2024. Can I also say that New Year's is my favorite holiday. And I think it's because I'm somebody who's very ambitious. I'm an Aries. I love goal setting and I love like the prospect of a new year. New Year's is like hands down my favorite holiday of all holidays. Um, and that's only been the last couple years since I've turned it into such like an intentional time it's become like my favorite thing. And I also kind of just love the like celebration, the fresh start. Also, I will say like, this is not everybody's new year is, you know, the Gregorian calendar. So I definitely think new year can happen like different times of the year, depending on your culture and your background and stuff. And I'm also someone who thinks that like, you don't need a new year to start a new intention or anything, but I just love the shared like energy that everybody has about like cool we have a fresh start we're doing something new we have goals and things in our minds so i'm gonna work on my vision board and then i want to finish off this vlog working on my bookstore and doing some stuff like that and i probably won't include it in the vlog but i do hope to go to the gym um later this evening so yeah come with me and i will i think i'm gonna show you what my vision board is going to look like because I want to talk about it a lot more. Okay guys, I've been chilling here for like, I don't know, probably like an hour. Just working on my little vision board and watching some YouTube videos. Um, and I'm like halfway through. 
and I'm like halfway through and I need a break now <laughs> because I don't really know what else I want to put yet so I think I'm going to take a break but talk to you about what I've put so far. I think taking a break will help me think of more ideas. Um, so my first category that I have right here is health, which always my most important category that I do in my vision boards. For sure, I have jujitsu because I wanna be a lot more, or uh, not even a lot more, I want to continue my consistency with jujitsu and hopefully get my blue belt. Um, and then I also have like a cute little gym bag and a girl doing leg day because leg days I want to get back into weightlifting and then I also have some cute little grocery hauls and cooking um, because I really want to cook more of my meals that's something I've been trying to do this year and I really want to bring that energy more into the new year and then I also have this cute little aesthetic and then I also have this cute little aesthetic pill box thing to show, you know, that I want to take my meds because we love being on our medicine routine. It improves your life so much. And then I have some skincare stuff here because I'm a skincare girly right now and I really want to maintain that in the new year. And then... um I also put walks right here, these little hot girl walks. <laughs> I want to go on more walks and bring my dog with me, although she doesn't look anything like that dog. <laughs> um, and then I also want to journal. I feel like that's so good for your mental health and like for idea generating. And that kind of goes into hobbies, so it's like kind of on the both of them. Um, so for hobbies... I have two really cute vlog cameras. Also, this vlog camera with like the little charm is so cute. I kind of feel like I want to do that to my vlog camera. Um, because I've been so good about editing and posting on YouTube. I want that to come into the new year with me. And then I have a bunch of bookstore stuff here because, you know, I'm kind of thinking about doing a mobile bookstore, kind of like these vans. But I've actually thought about doing a trailer because I have a Jeep. And so maybe that's something I could do in the new year. And then I have a magazine because I want to get published in magazines more. I've already been published. I'm very lucky um, and worked hard for that. So I want to do more of that in the new year. And then I have like a coffee shop productivity little shop because I love getting my work done that way. <clears throat> and I want to visit more coffee shops in the new year. And then... I have a picture of Cincinnati because I might be going to Cincinnati for my bookstore. And then um, I have this gaming setup for the PC because I wanna play more games in the new year. So I feel like this is coming along really cute and really nice, I'm loving it so far. Um, it's so much more fun to do it this way when you get to look like on Pinterest stuff. Like, I feel like it gets to be, like, way more aesthetic and, like, curated when you get to do it this way. So I feel like it's really fun um, doing it like this. Um, and, yeah, I'm really happy with how it's coming out. And I was thinking about when I'm done with it is I actually think I want to get it printed because um, I actually want to get some prints of the photos that I took when I was in Dublin and I want to hang them up on my walls for decor and so I figure like at the same time I could get <clears throat> also sorry I'm like sounding sick right now <clears throat> I'm like getting over being sick so I still have some unfortunately like congestion and stuff but anyways um I thought at the same time I could get this printed and just kind of like do it two in one, you know? So I highly recommend doing like any type of vision thing. It can also be as simple, like I've said, it doesn't have to be on an iPad, you know? I did mine on a physical piece of board, but also you could do it in a journal. Like it doesn't have to be, it can be as much as you want it to be and how much it works within, you know, your means, you know, because I would do this even like in a journal if um, I didn't have my iPad because or just like even doing a simple journal prompt, you know, if this feels like too much to get like pictures. Um, 
like even answering a simple journal prompt about 2023 or what you want to look forward to in 2024 i feel like it's just really fun to look forward to all that stuff um but i'm really happy with this i think the other categories i kind of want to make to be maybe a, uh about travel and then maybe about like style and stuff like that because that's been what I've done in the past um, is, or like maybe travel slash adventures or something like that. I don't know. Um, I can't remember what I did for my other past categories. I can go look at my old vision boards and see. So yeah, it's coming out so cute and I'm really happy. All right guys, it is that time for me to start working on my bookstore. And sometimes, just like anybody's work or hobby, you're not super motivated to do it, so you should pair it with something that you want to do. And what I want to do is watch reality TV. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. But before I get into working, I wanted to show you some of the new stuff that I got for my shop. And one of the first things is I got these cute little stickers to put on my orders and it says a reading adventure it waits from quiet quill books and i thought these could be cute for some orders um to like tape the newspaper closed um yeah i don't know we'll see maybe i'll get to show you in this vlog me using them um and then i also this will be like harder to show but i got some new tape for our my boxes um so this is the tape that i usually use and it's really cute it's really pretty but i was just kind of getting over this design and i wanted clear tape so let me try to pull it out and show you what it looks like okay guys so i pulled off a piece of the tape to show you what it looks like and I think it's so pretty I love it being clear and I just made this on Canva um, and I feel like it's gonna look so good against the um, cardboard boxes so I'll show you what that looks like as well um, but I'm really happy with that and how it turned out so I have one big roll I actually have two I ordered two of them so oh, this one kind of got all messed up, I guess. Um, and then I have a bunch of um, those book mail right there, little cards that I show you that I showed you in the last vlog. Um, that was in my order. And then, yeah, I think that's it. And those new little sticker things that I got right here. Um, so. I'm going to start working. I made a to-do list. I made a to-do list and I have um, some t-shirts to order. Obviously, I'm going to pack orders right now. Um, I want to upload more stock onto the website, which I said I was going to do last time. So I should really do it this time. And then... Um, yeah, I hope, I have some other stuff that I want to do, but I don't think I'm going to get it done in this vlog. I think I'm going to save it for the next vlog, like more computery stuff, which is kind of like making content for the Instagram and then getting the winter mystery boxes ready. So yeah, kind of doing a little mini portion of bookstore admin stuff. Oh my gosh you guys i just had to pause to show you how freaking amazing the new tape looks on this box oh my god it makes me so happy it's so so pretty 
like <clears throat> this is exactly what I wanted was clear tape and I feel like I really love how the design came out it looks so freaking cute 10 out of 10 out a little bit took a little break and I finally finished my vision board for 2024 so I really want to show you that and then I'm gonna head to the gym I got my gym clothes on um, even though I really don't want to <laughs> I definitely should be doing it so um, let me show you my vision board all right here's my vision board for 2024 and it's so cute I love how it came out so I can't wait to actually print this out um, but the second part that I finished was the part about travel and um, I put Scotland on here because that's definitely on my list is to go to Scotland and I want to go back to Dublin so I put this perfect little area of Dublin which is right near where I was spending a lot of time and then um, I also put like passport and a little flight photo um, and then I do want to go to Copenhagen one day um, and I put a picture of Denmark and their flag on here because that would be really cool if I could accomplish that in the new year to making it all the way there and then I kind of made another little section over here just called adventure and I kind of think of this as like local stuff that I want to do so one thing is I really want to see the new San Francisco at Disneyland um, I feel like it looks really cute and fun at California Adventure so I want to do that and then I put another Star Wars Disneyland one here I've been wanting to go to Disneyland a lot more because I keep like consuming so much more Disneyland content. Um, and then the other places are like, I want to go to Ojai. I've never been to Ojai. I want to go to Palm Springs. I want to see more movies and I want to hit up more museums and like record shops. Um, but my phone camera, I mean my, not phone camera, my camera's gonna die pretty soon. So I just wanna wrap up this vlog and say thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed ringing in the new year with me, spending New Year's Eve. This is the first vlog of 2024. So when you're watching this, it'll already be 2024. So happy new year to all those out there. Thank you so much. And I will see you in another vlog.